Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nasrin Padasale. So today I will be discussing the cutoff that is expected cutoff marks for clearing this joint CSA or UGC NET June 2020 examination under lecturership category or assistant professorship category. Many students will be getting lower mark and you will be expecting whether I can secure any one seat under this lecturership category or not. So at this time point you have both your response sheet as well as answer key. I hope you have calculated your mark. So if you do know how to calculate a mark already, I just placed a video like how to calculate the mark from response sheet and answer key. So calculate the mark because here I am going to give you mark wise cutoff only. So you should know from NTR from CSR they won't reveal the raw marks that is how many marks you are getting out of 200. This is applicable only for life census paper alone friends since you wrote your examination under two shift. Okay. So for general candidate, if you are getting mark above 95 or 200, you are, get, you are going to get the lecturership certificate and EWS category, OBC category, if you are getting mark above 80 means then you are also will be getting lecturership because clearing lecturership is the first and foremost important step like it will be increasing your self confident and it will be keep yourself motivated okay. You, you have cleared the lecturership portion so if next time when you apply for CSER definitely you can clear JRF portion. Okay, so clearing lectureship is not at all a waste and it is a prime moment also friends because these days many students of course students who clear lectureship they cannot able to do PhD but many top ranked institute they are recruiting candidate who have cleared the CSER lectureship. Okay, so they are uh, they are uh, recruiting both the candidate who are cleared under JRF as well as lectureship. So don't think clearing lectureship is have no use at all. Okay. So, if you are ESC candidate means if you are getting mark above 60 for 200 means then for you there are chances to clear under this lecturership category at the same time if you are a SC, ST candidate and if you are getting mark above 55 out of 200 means then for you also there is a seat in lecturership category okay and for person with disability if you are getting mark above 50 then there are chances for you okay. So here I had given you a list of cutoff mark that is uh, uh, from June 2015 I, I had given you friends. So this will be providing you a enough amount of clarity. So that's why I had provided you this particular uh, content. So from June 2015 till June 2019, this is, this is the mark out of 100. Okay, so you can check for general category the mark as well as you can check for OBC, AC, ST. Okay, so based on this particular analysis only, I had given you the expected cutoff mark for life sciences. So from CSER or from NTA, they will be releasing a percentile wise cutoff and I will be releasing the percentile, I will be providing you a expected percentile wise cutoff once the scorecard will be released. So after the scorecard release, definitely I will be updating you a percentile wise cutoff because in the scorecard, they will be giving you the percentile mark. Okay, so that at this time, at that time point will be helpful. So thank you friends, thanks for watching this video. So please do share your mark that you are getting out of 200.